This will be a quick demo on how to access uh, the Adobe VIP licensing through Journey Ed and ESUCC. If you go to www.neesucoop.org, select the ESUCC Marketplace uh, button in the middle of the page. This will take you to the login page. If you currently do not have an account, you can very quickly register by uh, clicking the register here link and then start typing a district uh, name and select that name from the list. Uh, populate all the other fields with uh, the required information, making sure that you utilize only your school district email domain address. Uh, this is uh, that way, if we have it in a whitelist, it will automatically accept your account. Uh, once you've registered and you click register, uh, you should receive an email that will uh, make sure that you own the email account that you registered with. You will click on the link and confirm, and then at which point you will be able to go back to the login page and log into your account. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one of my credentials here. I sign into the marketplace um, to find the Adobe uh, VIP licensing. I will come down to the journey at Adobe VIP licensing, click on the globe icon uh, there. Uh, but I do want to point out that under journey ed, we do have a flyer available here to uh, discuss a little bit about what's available through uh, this licensing program and the different options. Uh, the option that you are choosing here is option three, and that's the only one that's available in the marketplace. The other two options, you would contact Journey Ed and uh, Christine McConnell over at uh, Journey Ed and to, uh, to discuss uh, those options. Uh, but that's, that's available there. Uh, but if I click on that globe icon, it's going to take me into an ESU CC store. And uh, if I just uh, briefly click search here, I can scroll down and see all the items in the catalog. But on the left hand side, if I choose Journey Ed, it'll eliminate everything except for the Journey Ed item, Adobe VIP license. And if I click on that item, I get a full description of it. Um, it is $5 a license with a minimum order amount of 100. Uh, so you have to order at least 100 licenses. And so at this point, uh, it kind of gives a brief description. Orders must be submitted by June 9th. Uh, these, this item will no longer be available after June 9th. Uh, or if they are, we will have to uh, uh, change the marketplace just slightly to allow you to uh, order additional licenses, I guess. And so uh, if, if you're needing more than 100 licenses, uh, you're going to go in here and enter that and then add it to your cart. Uh, if that's all you need, uh, just say view cart. Hit the checkout button and it'll tell you I had two items in my cart already and so it added those also but uh, I can change that to 300 at least and say update and actually I wanted 200 this time so I'll hit update again and then I can do a checkout and at that point it transfers the shopping cart over into my main marketplace page and then I hit checkout one more time and then at this point, I would be able to uh, choose the shipping address uh, for licenses. Nothing's going to be shipped probably, so it um, doesn't really matter. But uh, maybe your, your district uh, central office uh, may be a good choice uh, or the high school. And so once you do that, you also have the choice of selecting a uh, billing address, but uh, probably only one. And then you can assign a PO. If you do not assign a PO, it's going to assign one for you. It'll be ESU CC and dash then some number. And at this point, if I hit place order, it goes into uh, a routing approval chain, and it'll it'll send uh, 
this requisition over to the person in your district to be approved. And once that is approved, then the order will be sent on to Journey It.